Thanks to Pluto's low gravity, you could jump up to 7 meters. That's like jumping over a two-story building. Ever wondered how high you could jump on different planets? Imagine slam dunking on the moon or barely lifting off the ground on Jupiter. Stick around to find out which celestial body would turn you into a superhero jumper and which one would barely let you lift off the ground. First, let's talk about what makes all this possible. Gravity. It's the force that keeps us grounded, literally. Gravity is what attracts objects toward each other. So when you drop an apple, it falls to the ground because Earth's gravity is pulling it down. Here's the deal. Gravity depends on two things, mass and distance. The more massive an object, the stronger its gravitational pull. And the closer you are to the object, the stronger the gravity you feel. For instance, Earth is pretty massive, so it has a strong gravitational pull. The moon is smaller, so its gravity is weaker. This is why you can jump higher on the moon than on Earth. Now that we've got a handle on what gravity is, let's see how it affects our jumping abilities on different planets and moons, starting with Mars. Mars, our red neighbor, has about a third of Earth's gravity. That means if you weigh 70 kilograms on Earth, you'd only weigh about 23 kilograms on Mars. So, how high can you jump? On Earth, you can jump about half a meter off the ground. On Mars, with its weaker gravity, you could jump roughly three times higher, around one and a half meters. Mars's lower gravity combined with its lower atmospheric pressure means you'd also hang in the air a bit longer. It's almost like slow motion. Next up, let's take a giant leap onto the gas giant, Jupiter, where things get really heavy. The behemoth of our solar system has a gravitational pull that is two and a half times stronger than Earth's. That means if you weigh 70 kilograms on Earth, you'd feel like you weigh 175 kilograms on Jupiter. And with its crushing gravity, you'd be lucky to get a few centimeters off the ground. Think more like 0.17 meters. If you were actually on Jupiter's surface, which you can't be because it's a gas giant, the intense gravity would make every movement feel like you're carrying a heavy backpack. From heavy gravity to something a bit lighter, let's see what it's like to jump on Neptune. The windy blue giant has a gravity that's about 1.14 times that of Earth. If you weigh 70 kilograms on Earth, you'd weigh around 80 kilograms on Neptune. Here, you'd be jumping slightly lower than on Earth, around 0.39 meters. Not a huge difference, but you definitely feel a bit heavier. Neptune's strong winds and icy atmosphere would make jumping there feel like you're in the middle of a freezing hurricane. Next stop, let's head over to our sister planet, Venus. Venus has a gravity that's quite similar to Earth's, about 0.9 times as strong. So if you weigh 70 kilograms on Earth, you'd weigh about 63 kilograms on Venus. On the Venusian surface, you'd jump slightly higher than on Earth, around 0.49 meters. Venus has a super thick atmosphere, so even though you can jump a bit higher, the dense air would make it feel like you're moving in slow motion. Now let's take a journey to the edge of the solar system and see how high we can jump on the dwarf planet Pluto. This tiny world has very weak gravity, about one twelfth of Earth's. So if you weigh 70 kilograms on Earth, you'd weigh just around six kilograms on Pluto. Thanks to Pluto's low gravity, you could jump up to seven meters. That's like jumping over a two-story building. The low gravity would make you feel super light, almost like you're flying with every step you take. Next, let's head over to one of Uranus's moons, Miranda, and see what's possible there. This moon has extremely weak gravity, about one one hundredth of Earth's. That means if you weigh 70 kilograms on Earth, you'd weigh less than a kilogram on Miranda. Here you could jump an astonishing 57 meters high. That's like jumping over a 15-story building. Miranda's weak gravity means you'd also come down very slowly. It'd be like bouncing on a trampoline in slow motion. So, no need to worry about breaking a leg. Now, let's explore Phobos, one of Mars' moons, and completely blow your mind. This tiny moon has extremely low gravity, even weaker than Miranda's. Its gravity is about 1 1,700th of Earth's. So, if you weigh 70 kilograms on Earth, you'd weigh just a few grams on Phobos. Here, you could easily jump over 700 meters high. 
That's like jumping over a 230-story building. The gravity is so weak on Phobos that you need to be careful not to jump too high, or you might accidentally launch yourself into space. Finally, let's take a look at what would happen if you tried to jump on the Sun, the giant star at the center of our solar system. Jumping on the Sun might sound like a cool idea, but it's impossible for many reasons. One of them is its intense gravity, which is about 28 times stronger than Earth's. So if you weigh 70 kilograms on Earth, you'd weigh nearly 2,000 kilograms on the Sun. And of course, the Sun is a giant ball of burning gas, so standing on it isn't an option. So which planet or moon would you like to try jumping on? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an out of this world adventure. Also, don't forget to check out the video on the right of your screen.